So there's one. There's acrylic paint, and if you get it, and it's not for sale, but um, I get to take it home. And if you scratch right here with something, um, there's something written under it, and it's like one of those scratch ones. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. And then this one is called It's Donut Time, and it's pink and turquoise, mm -hmm. and it's a donut. And then this one, uh, we did um, these really cool paintings that. Um, we put tissue paper uh, in water, mm -hmm. and then we took a wet paintbrush and painted them onto the paper, and then we took it off, and then we put marker here, and then we painted it over that. Okay. That's what I did over here as well. And then this is also clay. It's called Who, Want, Who Wants a Burger? I spelled wants wrong, but... <laughs> and then there's a menu over here. This is also acrylic. But I didn't put it. I didn't have a t enough space, so um, I just put it with the watercolor. I also made this wow. with um, some markers and water, and then this was supposed to be SpongeBob and something over there. And then there's this with my very own technique, which is where you take um, some water on your paintbrush and you make a little bubble of water and then you take some color and carefully put it in the bubble and then it dries flat but it looks really cool. And then there's this one which is just a mess of things. <laughs> It's just a mess. Okay, how about the string? And then we took, um, over here, we took a string on sticky paper and we put it all over. Mm -hmm. This is my second one, and this is my third, third one, and this is my first one. And I did this one so it was like this instead of like it is here. But I spelled love backwards because, um, uh, as I said, I was doing it like this. Mm -hmm. Like, so I was putting it on the sticky paper. And so it has a bow up here, it has a ladybug, it has love. And then here we did photography. Mm -hmm. uh, and I took a picture of my eye because it's just really pretty. I feel like it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. And it, like, looks rainbow, kind of. And then uh, right here... I am not finished with it, but I am almost done. I'm so close to finishing um, this uh, bird in embroidery. In embroidery. Very nice. And and then over here we have uh, many other pictures of my sculpture outside, mm -hmm. but we can't really go outside because it's raining. So, uh, yeah, and then my crayon sculpture is right here. And that's the one you got the best, best crayon sculpture, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, other people, they usually just, like, put it on the ground, so it's, like, just stand up. But I asked for some uh, 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 crayon box. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it's, like, they're, like, somebody dumped the crayons out. That is so cool. And, like, somebody paused time. Is this all yours? Mm -hmm. So that's it just looks like that. And then one is like oh, lying you selling your art table. Oh. And then and over here, I took my hot glue yeah. gun and I glued um, uh, some crayons without paper on them. Mm -hmm. And I took the metal part of the hot glue gun and I melted it. I melted the crayons so it like drips down and it looks really cool. Mm -hmm. I did that a few different times and this one has some gold. This one has a lot of gold. And this one has a few dots because I was kind of um, put, I was like doing like this and I, I was like, it, this was like under it. Mm -hmm. That was like the first one that I ever did. This one is probably my biggest, um, my biggest and my most colorful and pretty. And then these um, are custom crayons, um, how I made them was so I took a full crayon, mm -hmm. well, sometimes full. Um, I took a full crayon and I took, um, you know those sticks on the hot glue gun? I pushed the crayon out with all my strength. So like I still had the, the paper that didn't break and I hot glued it to my paper because I had paper and I 
um, a hot glue to my paper, and I took a crayon, and I did exactly what I did here, which is melt it, and I melted it, and I melted it into the uh, crayon thing, mm -hmm. so it turns out like this, and I waited it for it to cool, and stuff like that, so it turns out like this, and it does work like that. And then I made some glittery ones, and I made this one, and like, um, they all work. Um, and how about and these tiles over here? Oh, these tiles? We use, we use alcohol ink, um, and we um, use a little pipette to mm -hmm. pipe them on the tiles, the white tiles. Mm -hmm. And then we like moved it around to get it all on there. This one is called Galaxy. And this is exactly the same, except I used white. And um, it's called Let's wa <clears throat> Let's Watch the Stars. Okay. And I did the exact same thing there. Um, and what's that one? This is this is my snack. Oh. <sighs> okay. I think we covered all of them, didn't we? Yeah. I think. Wait. That one. Oh, what's that one? This is um. A bunch of markers colored into a mountain and then a sun right there mm -hmm. and then painted over with water and then some uh, other um, tissue paper over here um, and it's called Behind the Mountain okay. and it took a really long time but not as long as um, not as long as the custom grandstand because that took a lot of patience from me. Oh, yeah. Because I, when I first started making them, I thought once I w waited like five seconds, I could just like peel it off, but like it just fell apart like, and turned into nothing. So I learned that I had to either put it on my cold ice pack and freeze it and like make it cold and stuff, or just wait. For a while, I know when I did take off the paper, I had to like get my hand like so they weren't really super warm. So it would melt them when they were still kind of melty. Uh, I had to like get them cold, so it was like that. And okay, well, thank you for showing me all your stuff. And then that's my sketchbook. That's your sketchbook. And you got the best crayon sculpture. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Well, thank you for the tour.